question without an extra life today, all right? So uh, you might have heard by now, you can now use multiple extra lives. You heard right. So you can use one, two, or even three extra lives in a single game of HQ. Uh, you know, you, you, you can get, 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 get one now. Get it. You see it? Stock up because you can only buy these babies once per game. You can use an extra life on any question except for the prize question. Put that up here. Remember that. Remember that. All right. It's time for the funny games. Look, I'm going to show you uh, some pictures of teeth. Yes, teeth. Some celebrities' smiles, actually. And I want you to guess whose smile it is. How well do you know these celebrities? you got 15 seconds. So look closely, type it in the chat, and let's have some fun. You guys ready for your first smile? Let's take a look. Whose smile is that? I see a couple of the front teeth hiding the canines. Who knows? They could be toothless from tooth four on. But do you have any idea? A little glisten on the lower lip, do you know? Ellen D, Ellen DeGeneres, who got it? I love a little, I can't do it. Okay, two, here we go, here we go, let's take a look. Whose smile is this? Whose smile is this? That's a little jagged lower tooth right now. A little crooked action on the top left. Let's get this person to the dentist, Jay-Z, baby. That's right, who guessed it? Number three, one more. Here we go. No, you know what? <laughs> we don't even have time. We got a couple more seconds until we start playing. And who's ready? Get, let's all do a breathe in, everybody. <sighs> Collective breath. Breathe out. Here we go. Let's stretch it out. Who's ready? Are you ready? Are you set? Let's get quizzy. Here we go. Question number one. Which of these people is not a former U.S. president? George Washington, George W. Bush, George Michael. Question one. Uh, if you tapped uh, me, George W., you're an incorrect. You're not correct. That was not a mission accomplished. Okay, George Michael was never the president. That's right. 133,571 are dancing along. Wake me up before you go, go, because we're moving on to question two, yo. Question two. Let's do this. Let's do this. Question two. Which word is commonly abbreviated to app, appendix, applause, application? So usually when someone says app, they're talking about, that's right, an application. An application. We've all got thousands. 134,264. Press the correct answer. I don't know. There's too many apps, isn't there? I, I just downloaded an app that organizes my apps. It's called an app app. I have another one that deletes apps. It reminds me which ones. It's an app, 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 app. All right. Here's an app. Question three. In the classic comic books, what color is Superman's cape? Red. White, blue. Which one is it? Superman's cape is typically red. That's right. Red. 119,050 people got it right. How about that disguise? Nobody knew it was Superman just because he was wearing glasses. Have you ever had a friend and he walks in with glasses? You're like, Paul, is that, is that Paul? It can't be Paul. Let's fly on over to question four. Which of these statistical graphs represents data with dots? Scatter plot, bar graph, pie chart. Carry the one. All right, a scatter plot uses dots on X and Y axis. Scatter plot was correct. Who got it right? 111,950 mathematicians. A scatter plot is also what they called uh, Avengers 5. That plot was all over the map. Am I right? Did you, did you like the movie? Let me know in the chat. Did you like it? Let's avenge on question five. Question five. Which of these words is a portmanteau? portmanteau. Slurpee, popsicle, sherbet. It's a tough one to say. Portmanteau. 
popsicle is a portmanteau of pop and icicle. That's right. 54,673. Licking on to the next one. Don't do the uh, portmanteau of Slurpee. It's don't, just don't. I just did it in my head. Don't do it. It's not good. All right. You want a good lick? Question six. Which of these is not a character on My Little Pony Friendship is Magic? Rarity, Applejack, Tenderheart. Which one? Well, Tenderheart is a Care Bear character, not a Little Pony character. Oh, look at that little Tenderheart. It's a little Tenderheart. How many got it right? How many Tenderhearts do we have? Huh? 44,707 tender little hearts. I've never seen the show. How would I know anything about, I'm, you know, my little bro, I'm not a brony. I don't know anything about Pinkie Pie or, or Fluttershy or Trixie or Mrs. Cupcake. You naysayers, you, you know, whatever. Just because I found my cutie mark, you're jealous. Let's scootaloo to the next question. Question seven. What is the largest country in Africa by area? Algeria, Sudan, South Africa. one is it? Sudan's area is about 712,000 square miles. South Africa, uh, 471,000 square miles. But Algeria has the area of about 919,000 square miles. Algeria, 36,457 are killing it. And as you know, if you live in New York City, the area of an average apartment is about 127 square inches. I rent out someone's um, desk drawer, so it's just enough room for me. And my little pony. Let's try it on over to question eight. A cross between a male zebra and a female horse is sometimes known as what? Hebra, zinni, resource. What do you get when you round a male zebra and a female horse together? You get a wild time, man, I'm telling you. And you also get a zorse. That's right. Oh, look at that zorse. How many? Trotting on. How many? 30,339 little trotters. Ugh, I'm, what about this? My Little Zorse. It's a spin-off show I'm pitching. Who wants to invest? It's where a comedian solves crimes on, on a little Zorse. And you don't know who he is because he's wearing glasses. Tell me in the chat. How much would you invest? Okay, guys, listen up. Coming up next is the first ever prize question on HQ. If you get this question right, you have the choice to take the money or keep moving forward to that $15,000 jackpot. The first, you're the first ever! What? I'm freaking out, you ready? Good luck, here we go. Question nine. Which of these is the longest running daytime soap opera still on the air? General Hospital, Young and the Restless, Days of Our Lives. Hope your grandma's standing by. All right, so the Young and the Restless started in 1973. Days of Our Lives in 1965, but General Hospital has been on the air since 1963. 26,660 of you are medics. Congratulations. Doesn't General Hospital just sound like a bunch of lazy doctors? Who would want to go to, yeah, we keep things general here at the hospital. Yeah, that's a big wound, pretty bloody. I'd say it'll heal in about one to 15 years. Ah, who knows? Scrubbing out, scrubbing on. Question 10. Oh, 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 here we go. Who's going to do it? So we had 16 cents to 26,660 players. But or not, are you going to take it? Are you going to take it? First time ever. That's a lot of people. We're going to do it. Did you do it? Guys? Guys? Guys, make a decision. Make a decision. Guys, look, first time ever. I think we just froze. See, talk about too many apps. I think every app just shut down. Every single app. We just shut down the internet. We shut down the internet. So we're moving on. Question number 10. Thanks for bearing with us. Question number 10. Which accent mark appears in the word vis-a-vis? Is it a tilde? Grave? Acute? I've never seen that word before, but let's take a look. All right. An accent that leans towards the left, like in the word vis-a-vis, -vis, is called grave. That's right. How many people got it right? 24,870 smarties. 
and another accent that leans to the left, Bernie Sanders. The one percent. What percent got it right? Always looked like he's shaking water off his hands. Shaking it off. That was the worst Bernie Sanders impression of all time. I've never done it before. I've never done this either. Question 11. The composer of iconic Hershey's Chocolate and Wrigley's Gum Jingles also wrote which state's official song? California, Virginia, New York. Jingles also wrote I Love New York, the official state song. Uh, who got it right? I love New York, New York, 22,016. Love New York. Has anyone heard this song? Please Google it. It is one of the worst songs. I live in New York. I've never heard it. It just brags about how great New York is for three minutes. Sure, yeah, there's no place like it. There's no place you can wake up, see somebody puking on the subway, and then go home to your 12 roommates. There's no place like it, guys. And there's no place like question 12. All right, next prize question. Here's your chance at winning some more money. A little more this time. A little bit more. Here we go. Question 12. Question 12. Which of these is not the capital of a doubly landlocked country? Uh, Tachent, Tachent, Vaduz, Belgrade. Which one? Huh? Well, thank God it's the one I can pronounce. Belgrade. How many people could also pronounce it? 9,000. 45. Liechtenstein and Uzbekistan are the only doubly landlocked countries, meaning they are landlocked countries surrounded by landlocked countries. Get these people some water. I don't know. Can we send them some water? Okay. Let's check it out. We're going on. We're moving on. That's right. Who's gonna, who's gonna move on? Who's gonna pick it? Who's, I, that's my impression of a glitch. There we go. Guys, we're moving on to question 13. The origin of the word clue is related to what? Yarn, law, cat. Yarn, law, or cat. Remember, I'm new here. Okay, the word clue comes from clue, meaning ball of yarn. That's right. Yarn is the correct answer. 8,462 of you are correct. It probably comes from the myth of Theoses, who was given a ball of yarn to help him find his way out of a maze called the Labyrinth, which is what I'm trying to figure out to do right now. I'm getting out of this maze. Guys, let's find our way out of this maze and go on to the next question. Question 14. Which of these historical figures was born first? Cicero, Confucius, Plato. Sound old. All right, so Cicero was born in 106 BCE and Plato around 428 BCE, but Confucius was born in 551 BCE. That's right, Confucius, who got confused on that one. 5,165. That was a tough one. Congratulations. He was born first. I was actually, this is a true story. I was born on my kitchen floor. I just plopped out. I don't even think my mom knew she was pregnant. I was seven months premature, so I'm still waiting for my, my, my growth spurt. I think it'll happen. Give me another apple box. We're moving on to question. Whoa, hold up. Here we go. We're going to try this again, guys. Anything could happen on HQ. Anything. I could even grow four inches. Another prize question. More money. More fun. Good luck to everybody, including myself. Question 15. Here we are. Question Number 15, females are often 70 times larger than the males in a species of what? Earthworm, mantis, octopus, 70 times larger. Wow. So sexual size dysmorphism happens all over nature, including a little bit in humans, but the all-time champion species where weight can vary by a factor of 10,000 or more is unquestionably the blanket octopus Singular, of course, 2,404. Using those slimy little tentacles, you tapped right. That's right. Okay. So, what's it going to be? <laughs> what's it going to be? We're offering $2.50 to 2,404 players who are taking a risk. And the next prize is in for three more questions. You're going to take the money? You're going to run. You're going to take the money and you're going to invest 
in my in my new sitcom about riding a zorse, a little zorsey. Let's see. Let's, let's move along. All right. What do you think? It's a tough choice. Two dollars and fifty cents. That'll get you. I don't know. All right. Here we go. Moving on. Which of these phrases is not from the classic sci-fi novel Dune? Bizatzi Hadarach. Bene Gizarit. Oomph Maloney. A new Dune film is in the works, and it'll be nice to see a timely take on the saga of Paul Atreides, who trains him with the best. Look, the answer is Oomph Maloney. I'm just going to skip it because that's a hilarious name. 1,929 oomph Malone. Sounds like something a mob boss would say. Hey, come here. Hey, come here. Hey, what are you oomph Malone's doing? I'm going to bury you oomph Malone's. I'm going to throw you in the East River. Hey, we're all just having fun here. We're having fun. It's gibberish. It's gibberish. Question number 17. Wow, I've never gone this far. 3 p.m., which of these classic movies was officially condemned by the Catholic Legion of Decency? Nosferate, La Varentra, Blue Velvet. The Legions of Decency said this film's theme was developed in an atmosphere of complete moral ambiguity. Well, yes, that's exactly the point. Coming in hot with the spiritual ennui, it's Antonio Antonis. La Ventura, La Ventura, La Ventura, 288, got the La Ventura. I use a little La Ventura uh, cologne, it's lavender. Here we go, guys. Wow, I'm sweating. I I'm not physically prepared to go past question. Well, we're going to 18, my first time ever. This is history. Which character appears in the only Shakespeare play whose title refers to a specific English place? Falstaff. Duncan, Rosalind, you Shakespearean. The only Shakespeare play with an English location in the title is The Merry Wives of Windsor, which is one of the plays that features the character of mm, Falstaff. Thou shalt get it correct. Who thine guest out vote? 513 noble citizens guessed it correctly. You tapped correct. Congratulations. Congratulations, my little quizzers. We're moving on to question 19. This is crazy. Which is the capital of a country whose national flag does not depict the Southern Cross? Brasilia, Santiago, Port Moresby. Which one? Think back to fifth grade. Brazil, whose capital is Brasilia and Papua New Guinea, whose capital is Port Morrissey, are the two of five countries whose national flags that depict the Southern Cross constellation. Chile, whose capital is Santiago, is not on that list. The answer is Santi 79 Santiago's are moving on to the next question. Question 20. Woo! I'm going to go home and let my dog out. You guys better hurry up. Here we go. All right. Question 20. After the, after the Arabian Peninsula, which of these peninsulas is the largest in the world? Indian, Indochina, Horn of Africa. Whew. I need makeup in here. I need makeup in here. The largest peninsula in the Arabian Peninsula and the third largest in the Indochina Peninsula, but the second largest is the Indian Peninsula. That's right. Who guessed it? 111 people. Got question 20 correct. Wow. Here we go. We are going, uh, we're going to go up to 25 questions today. 25? No one told me that. If you get there, you'll win and split $15,000. Jeez, this is crazy. Question 21. Which computer programming language was invented first? Fortran, COBOL, BASIC. Focus, guys. Question 21. All right, come on. Where are my coders at? All right, let me know by typing in some binary code into the chat. <sighs> All right. COBOL was invented in 1959 and BASIC in 1964, but FORTRAN was invented in 1954. Who guessed FORTRAN? Who got it? Who got it correct? 117 people just got question 21 correct. I don't know what that is. I, I tried to make a website once. 
uh, but I had to ask my grandma for help. So any coders, please DM me. And we are moving on to question. If no one wins, guys, by the way, no one wins, we're rolling over $15,000 to a future game. So an easy fix, just win. That's all you got to do. Just take it. Question 22. What city's NFL team is named for an Ungalat? Or Ungalat, Chicago, Indianapolis, or Jacksonville? Un Ungalat? Which one? Come on, you sports fans. You got to know this one. You got to know Ungalats are a broad class of hooved animals, including hippos, giraffes, and yes, horses. Of course, a young male horse is a cult. So Indianapolis is our answer. Indianapolis. 71 people got it right. Wow. I don't really, I'm not a big sports guy. I'm more of like a Mozart guy. So that's what I get. I'm like, hey, did you see that uh, symphony last night? Did you see that uh, the strings guy? Man. They gotta take him out. Guys, we're moving on to question 23. Which of these brand names is not now considered to be generic in the US? Kleenex, aspirin, escalator. Not considered to be generic. The words aspirin and escalator are considered to be generic. They were originally uh, legally protected trademarks, but they lost the status by becoming common name for the product. Kleenex, it's Kleenex, is still considered Trademark, 43 people just got question 23 correct, which means 43 people are moving on to question 24. This is a big pot, all right? Stay strong, stay focused. This is a lot of money for a 3 p.m. game. Question 24, second to last question. In the first Sex in the City film, Carrie Bradshaw's final wedding dress is by which designer? Dior, Vivian Westwood, or anonymous designer? Okay, yeah, Vivian gifted Carrie uh, the big poofy number for her initial uh, New York City library wedding to Big, but that wedding didn't end up happening. When they finally tied the knot in a simple courthouse ceremony, Carrie went with the simple vintage dress, designer unknown, anonymous designer. Wow, nobody got it. Nobody got it. Guys, congratulations. Oh. Hold on. We're moving on. We're doing something. We're doing something. Never happened. 17 people. Seven. Oh, we're not done. 17 people just saved their lives. I thought you were dead. Come back to me. Thank God you went to General Hospital and we put some little things and brought you on. This is the final question. All right, here we go. Final question, guys. All right, this week, can you just focus and realize what just happened? We got 17 people are into the final question out of 25 questions at 3 p.m. for $15,000. Here we go. Question 25. The actor behind what ER medical profession professional was once fired from growing pains? Doug Ross, Carol Hathaway, Abby Lockhart. Who was it? All right, here we go. So... Maura Tierney was supposed to appear in season three of the hit sitcom, but was fired after being told by the director repeatedly to watch Kirk. Well, I guess she didn't watch close enough, but she ended up, okay, she was in 10 dang seasons. We're talking about Abby Lockhart. Three people, three people, you just won HQ. You're splitting that pot, holy cow. Posimus, 5,000 of you. Hulk Holga, is that Hulk Hogan? Uh, 5,000 of you. And Fudge 4, well, it's going to be Fudge 5 now because you just won $5,000. Congratulations to the three of you. Uh, this is crazy. This is a wild day. It's 3 o'clock, and three people just took home $5,000 each. Congratulations. Wow, 
I think I need a cold drink. Uh, guys, congrats. You did it. This has been so much fun. It's been crazy, unpredictable. Thank you for playing with me. I've been your host, Tyler Fisher. Please follow me on all the socials. And remember, we play HQ Trivia every day at 9 p.m. and HQ Words at 9.30 p.m. So come out and play and don't miss it. I'll see you later. Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.